All right. Hello and welcome to another Expert Inside interview. My name is John Golden from Sales Pop Online, Sales Magazine and Pipeliner CRM. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Vivian Potts, who is in Vienna, Austria. How are you doing, Vivian? Very good. I'm so happy to meet you today. Yeah, great. And I'm here as usual in San Diego, an extremely rainy San Diego, which is unusual, but hey. Can't have sunshine all the time, although that is what I signed up for. But anyway, um, uh, okay, so um, what we're going to talk about today is how to star in your own life movie. So uh, Vivian is a, a an exponential growth coach, um, worked with um, lots of companies and people across the world. So Vivian, what is when you talk about starring in your own life movie, what, what do you mean? Yeah, it's a very good question because we all grew grow up with uh, a certain environment and uh, this environment this uh, pr um, determines very often where we go in life. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when we come from a rather poor family, then we are programmed from a very early age to live a certain life. You know, when we, for example, come from an entrepreneurial family, then we grow up with a different mindset. So the point is that most people, are pro or all people, are programmed from a very early age. So this is the subconscious conditioning. And most people don't really think where they want to go in life, really mm -hmm. think about it. So most people grow up and uh, they hear from the parents, from the environment, um, do a, a good, uh, get a good education that you get a great job and then you are secure. So now we know this is, of course, not working anymore. So, but most people who follow this trap, they are lost in this economy when the jobs are going away. So the point is how to become a star. You have to be very clear what you want, what is your, let's say, your life life's purpose what you love to do and how you how you create a lifestyle around you and not go into a company and you look how to fit in mm -hmm. so that's why I, I often say people are extras in their own movie they are not the star <laughs> not the star and so um so i think w one of the first things yeah i mean i totally agree i mean people are obviously heavily conditioned by the circumstances they grow up in so they have to yeah. break out break out of that but the other part is often i don't think many people actually stop to ask themselves what they really want out of life and out of a job and what their real motivation is that's really true because people don't realize that they can do anything they want. Because as we are conditioned from a very early age, we don't grow up mostly with parents who are aware of the potential that we have. So most mm -hmm. people are not grown up with parents. They say, wow, you are a genius. And now you look what you can do with your life and you can do anything you want. Mm -hmm. So we rather are like uh, grow up with in a box, you know, and that's why I love this quote, which says, uh, you cannot escape from a prison if you don't know you are in one. Yeah. So the prison means the prison of your thoughts, you know. Yeah, what and I love think? the. the yeah, that other quote is like everywhere you go, there you are. So it doesn't. <laughs> it, yeah. It, it, so if you haven't, if you if you haven't gone through, if you're not aware of what you want, your motivations, or you haven't gone through any personal growth at all, uh, you'll mm. go from one place or one job to another, and you won't mm. uh, you you won't progress. Um, I think I think Vivian in this in this uh, obviously in this time of crisis, and who knows what's going to happen. The economy is obviously in tatters right now. We hopefully get a rebound. But part of it is, I think, even without this crisis, is I think the way business is evolving, the world is evolving, is people have to learn to be more flexible and to look for opportunities in, in different ways and be ready to grab them and, and move. The, the days of like, you know, getting a job and staying there are long gone, right? So you need that level Absolutely. of flexibility. But that's hard for some people, isn't it, to to kind of live with that kind of uncertainty? 
Yes, for sure, because people are looking for certainty out for certainty outside of themselves. The truth mm -hmm. is, if you don't have certainty within yourself, you will not be certain at all. So if right. you depend uh, on a job, if you think I want to have a secure job and the job is gone, then you are lost. So you need to depend on yourself. So if you depend on yourself, if you really invest in yourself, you develop your personality and you become the star of your own movie, then uh, you, uh, no matter if you have the right circumstances right now, you can create them because you have the self-confidence and self-confidence is very important and you can develop self-confidence. Say, okay, whatever is the circumstances, I can create them, I can develop them. Uh, there is a great quote also from, um, uh, from Napoleon, He's who said, of course, he wasn't probably a nice guy, but he had a very strong will. And he said, circumstances, how I make them. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. I, and I think that's, a, that's, an, that's, an, excellent, um, that's an excellent quote. Because, but here's the thing that I think uh, sometimes a lot of people overlook. It's like when they go into, it's like when they go into a job in a company, they're waiting for how is the company, are they going to invest in me? Are they going to give me opportunities for promotion and all of that? And, and in many ways, like you said, is you're kind of outsourcing everything to other people as opposed to looking at yeah. what could I be doing to develop myself? How can I force my way into maybe a, a, a better job? But I, I don't feel like people invest enough in themselves. They're always waiting for somebody else to invest in them. Exactly. I think we have to get rid of the myth that other people will change our lives. Mm -hmm. We have to take responsibility for our, our own life. And I think you always can thrive. And we know from all kinds of crises we had in, in, the, in the history, you know, even yeah. the Great Depression, there were people and companies who thrived. You know, they, uh, they developed out of it, but not by accident, but by design, mm -hmm. because they decided. They were not like, um, they didn't inundate themselves with this negative environment. So we have to shut down. Uh, I don't say that you shouldn't inform yourself. You shouldn't like be inundated with all these negative things. But really what we have to do now in these times of crisis, you have to focus. You have to be very clear what you want and, uh, and also look for, the, uh, for an environment. So I think if you become the very best what you can be and everybody can become very much better than we are right now. So our potential is infinite, you know, it's so much bigger than we can do. And I include myself here, you know, so we can do much better. Uh, but it's important that we uh, we decide to do. We are not uh, like trapped into oh, what's going on outside. We have to become very mindful we have to be very strong in our mindset and, and be focused and because you said before about employees you know uh, when you become the very best of what you can be it's also to say what can I give not go mm -hmm. to a company and think what can I get mm -hmm. but if you are of real service to a company and you help the company to grow and to thrive they will not get rid of you even in times yeah. of crisis because they need you so you yeah. have to become the very best version of yourself first. And I think one of the things is, um, I mean, even today, uh, maybe you're quarantined at home, maybe you're, this is a wonderful opportunity. I mean, thankfully with the, with the internet, uh, you have infinite resources out there to, to better yourself. You could look at, you know, this is a great time for reflection about, am I, am I doing what I really want to do? Could I do something okay. else? Are there things that, are there skills that I could develop even now while I'm sitting at home? I could, you know, uh, uh, increase my skill set. There's lots of things. And so I agree with you. If you just sit at home and consume all the negative and all the negative news and everything, all you're doing is you're paralyzing yourself, right? Instead of saying, yes, okay, inform yourself, then move on and think about what can I do right now? Exactly. And I think that's the chance what we have right now, because many people realize they cannot do business as they did before. 
And so this is a great opportunity right mm -hmm. there to see what can I, can I prove? Because change is inevitable. It's always changing everything all the time. So if we are not flexible, if we don't use exactly this crisis to think, how can I serve my clients better? How can I become the best version of yourself? Because if you are the star in your own movie, why everybody is, is unique? You are unique. I am unique. We all have unique talents and gifts. So this is not by accident. It is how you can develop it. My, uh, uh, I believe that uh, we are unique because everybody has a unique gift and talent that we can bring to the surface, that we can bring to the world. And if, we, if you don't live this gift, then you, why you, are you even here? You know, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Are, are you just to fit in? Or do you really love, uh, do you really live the life you are designed to do? Like it's, I think it's in our DNA. And I love the quote from, uh, you see, I'm loving quotes, you know. Yeah. Uh, I love the quote from Helen Keller who said, life is an exciting adventure or it is nothing. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's true. And I think too many times, like, uh, as you say, people feel like they have no power, that everything is uh, that they have no control over anything. And I think that's because the hardest journey to take really is a journey inside yourself, right, is to self is to self reflect, is to become more aware of the things that you're doing to to hold yourself back that we all do to hold ourselves back and about how we could change that. And I think that's I think that's a big part of it is uh, what you were just saying a moment ago. I think too many people don't believe that about themselves, that they are unique, that they have something to offer. And I think if you just even start there, it'll have a great change in your life. Exactly. We, we have to study ourselves, you know, study, read books about uh, successful people, about psychology, about self-development. Because I think we have no idea what we are capable of doing. And we hear the scientists are saying we mm -hmm. have infinite potential, so we cannot even grasp what it is. But I can completely agree what, what you said, because I was there myself. I was very shy and introverted person. And then I became a speaker and, mm -hmm. and spoke in front of thousands of people. But uh, it was become, because I became aware who I really am what is inside of me. Before I thought this person can do it, that person can do it, but I cannot. Mm -hmm. And so I started to study myself. I started to study successful people and I saw there is no difference. They are not better or they are not more, more clever. So I realized if they can do it, I can do it. And this, I want to encourage everybody, you know, to study yourself and to to realize, really deeply understand in your gut, if I can do it, I really can. Mm -hmm. Everything what you what you set your mind on, you can do. Yeah, and and I think one other piece then uh, to this, and it's kind of funny because if you think about, we're all uh, you know socially isolating right now or quarantined. Now is a very good time is to examine the people who are in your life, right? To look around and say, are they are they positive influences? Are they people that lift me up? Or and I, and I think this is a fantastic opportunity now to really reassess what you're surrounding yourself with. And are you one of the? Are you one of those people who drags other people down? And you look for people to to you look for the company of people who also drive people down. So do you have a? This is a great time to look at your life in its totality and look at your relationships. And it is hard sometimes, but you have to remove negative influences from your life and you have to fill them with people who will lift you up. Absolutely. We know from research that the five people, you are like the average of the five people you surround yourself with. So really have a look. And most of these people, they come to your life default. So you are not choosing them consciously. Mm -hmm. But I really encourage people to really think about which people I want to surround myself with, exactly what you said. To, um, to think, and, and you can see if people, they suck the energy out of you, mm -hmm. uh, you feel it, you know? So just uh, keep distance with these people. And I realized that it happens even naturally if you start to work on yourself. Yeah. If you start mm -hmm. to do the things you love to do, 
you get out of a certain environment, people may look strange at you. What is going on with this person? Because they had, have adapt, they have to adapt to the change, and it's not comfortable often for the mm. people you surround yourself with. So it can be that your own um, closest environment is trying to hold you back, not because they want to, but they are afraid. They don't know what's going on. So you need to surround yourself with people who you know that they will support you, that they are happy when you thrive and they are not, and who are not holding you back. That's very important, especially at the very early stages when you start to become the yeah. star. <laughs> yeah. And it's okay. I mean, you know, the star can be a lonely place. So it's okay for a while if you're, if, uh, if you're going to, as you said, if, if people who don't understand or don't even you know, like you being where you are today, don't really want you to grow because it sometimes it holds up a mirror to them and it's people true, don't like, yeah. people don't like having mirrors held up to them. Um, mm -hmm. So part of this is like having the confidence to be okay, if I'm going to work on myself and I'm going to grow my own life that uh, yeah, I may, I may be a little bit lonely for a bit, but that's okay. You have to pay a price in mm -hmm. whatever way you don't yeah. know, maybe before, but you have to be willing to to pay a price for sure. Yeah. Yeah, everything comes with consequences, whatever choices you make. Listen, Vivian, this has been great. We're nearly at the end of our time here. Um, all of Vivian's information will be in the contributor profile and links to her site. But before we go, Vivian, please do share with people a little bit more about yourself, what you do and how they can learn more about you. Yeah, sure. I uh, support entrepreneurs to really become the star in their own life however this may look most people um, of my most clients are entrepreneurs they want to build their business they know already want what they want to do or which direction it goes but many people who come to me they say i have already uh, i know already this uh, personal development stuff this success i have read books i was, hmm. was were at seminars some are even seminar junkies but still they are not, uh, they don't experience this, this mm. thriving business or this, uh, you know, this success, what they really want. And they feel that they are like holding themselves back, but they don't know where to, where to start. So this is exactly where I start with my, my clients. I go deeper, uh, how to change the paradigms, how to change the subconscious programming and the point is everything what you have on the outside is a reflection of what is inside. So we start at the inside and develop the outside that you become the star in your own movie. But you first have to see yourself as the star in your own movie and not be, uh, yeah, not be the, <laughs> play not be just the extra. a role. <laughs> not be the extra or a statist you know <laughs> yeah exactly well listen vivian this has been great thank you so much for joining us today uh my name is john golden from sales pop online sales magazine pipeline or crm see you all for another expert interview really soon thank you <laughs>